He's Chase Sr. I'm Harrison Graham. NFL Week 11 is upon us, so we do what we do every week. Chase and I make our picks against the spread, and then we will inform you guys of our office picks as well. Uh, but let's get you guys caught up on the chat sports standings. Boss Man Yo to leading the way at 28 and 22. Got a group at 26 and 24. Marshall Green, Daddy Downey, and Matthew Peterson. Uh, I'm 24 and 26. So is Jack Lottere, our producer. Uh, Mitchell Renz, Trace Gerard, Thomas Mott, it's Fade Mott season, and Jeremy Beedling all hovering with 22 or 23 wins. And then you got producer or executive producer Sam Brown, who, you know, 0-5 last week. He was in shambles when he walked in today. I had to give him a pat on the back. Brett Scott, 20 and 30. Jeffrey Cooperstein, Chase, you're almost out of last place. Hey. You're, you're trying to make moves. Can Chase make a comeback? Four and one last week, out, folks. Uh, out of the gutter. Hey, I'll, I'll tell you this. Our offense as a whole, or our office as a whole was what, 21 and 49 last week? I paced week? the office, man. He went four and one. I went three and two. So your boys here on the show had a positive week. Can Chase get out of this hole completely? Type Y for yes, type N for no, and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll get to his picks coming up in just a second. We'll start with my picks here at 24 and 26, trying to get above 500 here. Uh, 49ers minus six at Jacksonville. I thought Kyle Shanahan called the best game he's called all year. Debo Samuel's balling out. The Jacks are playing better, uh, but I like where San Francisco is right now. I think they're trying to make a second half push. Cincinnati minus one at Las Vegas. Both these teams are reeling. Since he coming off a bye, that doesn't necessarily lead to wins this year in the NFL based on recent weeks, but I just I trust Joe Burrow a little more than Derek Carr. The Raiders have been here before, and this is when they start to stumble. We'll see. I like Cincinnati. The over in Chicago, Baltimore. Bears defense hasn't been playing as well. Justin Fields, though, has been playing a lot better. I think 45 is reachable, especially Baltimore coming off a bad game against Miami. I think Lamar Jackson and those boys will play better. I think that hits that over. Uh, Packers minus one at Minnesota. This line is one of those, hmm, what does Vegas know? But I'm going to ride with Aaron Rodgers over Kirk Cousins any day of the week. Uh, he's Kurt until he plays better, by the way. Chiefs minus two and a half against Dallas. I'm back on the Chiefs uh, train. I think they beat Dallas this weekend. Four and one last week. The comeback is on and popping. Look out, everybody here at the chat sports offices. I'm coming for your neck. Colts <laughs> plus seven. That's how we're going to start off the winning streak against Buffalo. I really like Indianapolis. They're a really good defense. Now, this line could be in danger if Carson Wentz throws some awful interception late, but I actually think they're a legitimate football team, and people are overhyping the Bills a little bit. That offense, while good at times, has struggled against very good defenses. That's what Indy has. I think Indy could control the run game there. Giants plus 11 on the road at Tampa Bay. Look, the Giants under Daniel Jones on the road against the spread as underdogs have been lights out, and I think that number continues. Tampa Bay has really struggled the last couple yep. of weeks. A bad loss last week against the Washington football team coming out of the bye. I think the Buccaneers win because they're the better team, but the Giants rocking the all-white color rush uniforms end up covering that large number at plus 11. I'm with Harrison in saying that Kyle Shanahan was in his bag as a play caller last week. Minus six against the Jags. The Jags have played a lot of teams close of late the last several weeks as they continue to get better under Urban Meyer. I do think because they are talent depleted, this is going to be a down week for them and the Niners win by 10. Eagles minus one against the Saints. I think New Orleans as a road underdog their last like 10 games. There's something crazy like 9-0-1. I just think Philadelphia is playing really well. The matchup to watch here. Eagles running offense, which has been one of the best in the league against one of the better run defenses in New Orleans. It's Trevor Simming at the end of the day, folks. Texans plus 10 against the Titans. Look, you're like, oh, Tennessee's really good and the Texans are bad. This is an AFC South rivalry game. These two teams know each other really well. The Texans are somewhat more respectable with Tyrod Taylor. Plus 10, I like that large number. Underdogs have been crushing. Let's get producer Jack Lottere in here as he goes uh, through his picks. We're tied. This is a big week. Head-to-head, -head, uh, Jack. Uh, take us through your picks here. You could say that everything is on the line this week. Uh, we got, we got seven I'm just saying. Let me say. Dolphins minus three. Hate the Jets. The Jets are terrible. Mike White, Joe Flacco, I don't care who's at quarterback. They're losing. Dolphins played better last week. And they did play better last week. Titans minus 10 versus Houston. Houston's also terrible, so I'm going to take the Titans. Chiefs minus 2.5. Sorry, Daddy Downey. The Chiefs are back. Uh, <laughs> did you I am call with Downey Daddy? Wow. I said Daddy Downey. Daddy Downey. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm with both what Chase. What do you mean that, though? He's a dad Because now. he's a dad now. Or is he your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it rolling, Jack. 
I'm with both of you for uh, 49ers. I think Kyle Shanahan had a great game. They're playing the Jaguars. Hopefully it's not another Bills game. We would all be in shambles. And Ravens, I'm sorry, Harrison, minus four and a half at Chicago. Hey, that's it's just how it is. That's okay, man. That's okay. If that means Matt Nagy's out, uh, I'm all for it. So uh, we will uh, see what happens. We're going to go rapid fire through the rest of the office in a second. But who's going to have the better week? Do you like Chase's picks the best, my picks, or Jack's? Type C for Chase, H for Harrison, J for Jack. And uh, we, will, uh, we will see how it shakes out this week. The standings are tightening up, especially if Chase can string a couple of good weeks together. Uh, we certainly have a lot of football left to play, both on the field and with uh, our betting partner, BetUS, which uh, Chase is going to tell you all about. If you want to lay down some bets, you can do so. BetUS is our sportsbook partner, and they've been killing the game, just like we here at Chat Sports have been killing the game as well, kind of. Chatsports.com slash <laughs> bet. Enter the promo code CHAT125, you get a 125% deposit bonus. And for first-time users, if you use that link and that promo code and put in at least $100 and make a bet, we'll send you a free NFL jersey. Just head to chatsports.com slash bet, enter the promo code CHAT125, sign up, deposit $100, get that 125% deposit back. That's $225 to game with. Place a bet on any game, then email us jersey at chatsports.com, letting us know that you followed all those steps. Joe Burrow jersey, maybe, for the Cincinnati Bengals fans. Tom Brady threads with the Tampa Bay Bucks. He is the GOAT. Patrick Mahomes with the Kansas City Chiefs. Matthew Stafford, his wife, throwing hot dogs at 49ers fans. Maybe pretzels. he still won his jersey. Was it pretzels? pretzels? Pretzels. Hot dogs. It's all the same. Batteries, snowballs at Santa <laughs> Claus, whatever. <laughs> Kyler Murray, Arizona Cardinals, Dak Prescott. Whatever jersey you want, we can get you hooked up. Just email us, jersey at chatsports.com. For that jersey deal, after five Following all those steps. Boss Man Yodes, 28 and 22 on the year. He likes the Titans minus 10. The over for New Orleans, Philadelphia at 43. The under for Cincinnati, Las Vegas at 50 and a half. Buccaneers minus 11. And then the over for San Francisco, Jacksonville at 45. Downey the dad. Congrats to him and his. Raiders plus one. He likes the Saints plus one and a half. Cowboys plus two and a half. Packers minus two and a half. So he got that line at Packers minus two and a half. I got it at minus one. Guess he was busy with other stuff. Bills minus seven against Indianapolis. Marshall Green, Money Marsh. He's been making that money. Bengals minus one, Saints plus one, Packers minus two. I kind of like that as well, even though Minnesota sneaky good this year. Giants plus 11. He is the host of New York Giants now. Check out that channel. And Ravens minus four and a half against the Bears. Petey, Matthew Peterson. We call him Petey. San Francisco Jags over 45. Dolphins minus three. He likes the Titans as well. Uh, Bengals minus one. And then the under in Arizona, Seattle. That's an interesting game. I think that's a trap game for Arizona. I think that could be a, hey, Russell Wilson's still back, baby. We'll see what happens in that game. So who's going to pass James this week? Petey, Tom, or Marsh? They're all on James's heels. Type P for Petey. Type T for Tom. Type M for Marsh. We go Money Marsh? Yeah. Who are we going with I here? I like Marsh to catch up. All right. We'll see what happens on that front. Keep it moving here with Mitchell Renz at 23 and 27. Uh, has not had a better week than 3 and 2 all year. Uh, the under in the Jets Dolphins game, he took the Packers minus 2.5. Uh, Arizona, Seattle under 48. Ravens minus 4.5, and then the Colts plus 7. Trace Girard, 23 and 27. Woo pig. 49ers <laughs> minus six against the Jags. The under for Miami Jets at 44 and a half. He too likes the Packers minus two. It's a popular bet this week. Cardinals minus two against Seattle. I don't know. Russell Wilson. Never doubt him. Chiefs minus two and a half against the Cowboys. It's going to be an awesome game. Fade Mott is in full effect after a good start. Uh, he's, he's fallen off in about the last month or so. Under in the Indy Buffalo game, he also likes the Eagles minus one. He bets the Eagles every week. Packers minus two and a half. Bengals minus one. And then Arizona minus two and a half at Seattle. Hit that subscribe button. We'll have videos all season long. Turn on those notifications as well. It's youtube.com slash chat sports TV. And uh, we'll continue to have the latest news and rumors and other segments around the NFL. Let's keep it going with Chugs. Jeremy Beadling, Chiefs minus two and a half, Eagles minus one. He's got the Dolphins minus three, the over in Washington, Carolina. And he also likes the over in San Francisco, Jacksonville. L2 Clouds in the chat letting Harrison know that the Bears signed Bruce Irvin. Okay. okay. Sam Brown, 21 and 29 on the year. Colts plus seven. Tit uh, Titans minus 10. Over for Green Bay, Minnesota at 49. Chiefs minus two and a half against the Cowboys. And the over 43 
New Orleans, Philadelphia. I'm going to keep it rolling here because Harrison Graham losing his shit that Bruce Irvin is going to Chicago. Brett Scott, 20 and 30 on the year. Titans minus 10. Raiders plus 1. Colts plus 7 against Buffalo. Jets plus 3 against the Dolphins. And also, sharp bet over for Philly, hmm. New Orleans. Uh, Coop Cup, Jeffrey, 49ers minus 6. Not to get confused with Cooper Cup. The over in Green Bay, Minnesota. Cardinals minus two at Seattle. Carolina minus three and a half. That's going to be interesting, Chase. Uh, Cam Newton's home return to Carolina this week. That should be fascinating. And then Cowboys plus two and a half at Kansas City.